Hello folks and uh, welcome to Iron Earth Reborn. Today we will be playing with a new archetype and uh, as you can see there were some changes here to accommodate the new organizations coming in the uh, new DLC and I will be starting a, a series on the previews of the upcoming uh, archetypes once we finish unlocking all this stuff. So let's get to work. Okay, so let's uh, unlock today uh, the Frit. We need uh, 90 tokens to unlock the Frit. And what about the Dead Knight? 60. So we can't play as any, as any Frit Death Knight, but we can unlock uh, just one of them. So let's unlock the, the feet. And we have good slashing, uh, good fire, penalty in water, air, and uh, a bonus in earth too. So what we will play our feet with? Let's play any free exorcist because why not? Okay, so we will need the intellect. The last thing plus two, fire plus four, earth light and dark. And we could use some more slashing and maybe action points per turn. So let's boost agility to 13. Now that's a drop point. Okay, I will keep these uh, attributes and see what we can raise with perks. Let's uh, start in. No. So first we will go and uh, check our perks and uh, we can pick a faction but at this point uh, I don't want to join any faction. We have our apprentice blade, doesn't do much damage so let's unequip it. And we have our actions. So Let's uh, have our three Veil Bridges. We can have one Viper, two Sanctified Blades. And maybe go like so. Okay, so Q. This is our starting deck. Let's go. So, overheat, synergy damage and intense. Let's deal uh, that here. 3 to 6 light. 4 intense, 3 to 6. So that's about 7 to 10 damage. Let's go here. Spirits can attack. Weak Poison is this card, which we can uh, add to our Mend Wounds. Kill him while healing. Okay, 
Okay, so since we have seen the exercise to some degree, uh, let's get a uh, little astray and focus a bit on the Fritz side. Fire arrow also deals vulnerable one. Veil bridge. And I will use my retribution. She will attack and die. This and this. Embrace darkness. Imbue dark target spirit ally drain 10. If the spirit dies, we get the power and draw. And uh, now the drain here just deals damage. Spirit can't be drained for hit points, so this is what you are draining if the spirit dies. Uh, still, I will get. Uh, Another lead astray. So that from the intense, we can deal three to six light damage here, and so far, so good. So let's um, let's use fairy aura. Retribution will take uh, this one out for us. So just end my turn. Fairy aura. Retribution should be enough to take this guy down. We get uh, an uh, additional retribution from the echo action. That's why. Strain and uh, if the enemy has lead astray, then we also deal a grid six, and then we will deal a grid four. Not that we have much uh, cards, but uh, still, belly dancer, she has belly dance and bewitch. We target her. Exhaust and ally or fatigue plus two, and our allies get lifespan plus one. I will um, choose and draw this one. Potential is too low to bear with here. Okay. 
We go to level up, we gain spectral hunt. Ethereal Prison. We'll add it to our deck. Go to the retribution. Nothing we care about here. Too early for a town. Magic lamp, trinket, clairvoyance to unravel, restore to action points. I'll get one more ethereal prison and uh, leave. So this is uh, an example of uh, a synergy chain done wrong. I will be passing a synergy grid into the theory aura, which targets me. So, well done. We'll be harming ourselves. And one way to solve it would have been to take out the adept huntress, so this will be removed from the chain. But uh, it's okay. So I took my great damage, which would have uh, fit better my enemy. And uh, if you play Fairy Avra at uh, this point, the synergy is here and you know that you will uh, need to target an enemy. But if, for example, we play like so. Now Fairy Aura is a self card. It's unaware that you have a synergy a grid echoing before that. So it recommends to target uh, yourself because this is a self card. But you know better because you have access to the full battlefield and you know that you should play the card on uh, an enemy. So by triggering we will kill the script crawler and she will take our retribution damage. Mr. 
let's use a Ethereal Prison. They became uh, much tougher. He healed. Have a grid. Concealment by passes our uh, retribution. The boss is Malik. So we have fought him before. He's immune to frozen and kill. And uh, we will be starting with a lead astray. Power up our allies. And that's it, we are in the next stage. So if you were doing the casual, uh, normal uh, ascension, by the time you get here, you have already finished uh, the casual and uh, get your tokens and be ready for um, a normal ascension. Which uh, will probably net you more uh, tokens uh, this way than the approach we are doing. But uh, this gives us more time to, to focus on some things. So Ferior will trigger and maybe hit this one. And flank all the benefactors, great. Let's use Ferior. Ray of Light. If the enemy has 5 vulnerable counters, then we also deal uh, rough damage. Which, as a reminder, is 5 damage of uh, the same element, Light, plus any retribution you have. And uh, Blessed will uh, damage uh, a wicked enemy and also inflict a vulnerable stack, even if these enemies are uh, immune to vulnerable otherwise. So a pretty solid card. It deals damage, it has blessed and 
can also give you wrath and it changes what's not to like. Start with our spirits. Put our echo here. Buff them. And we got a new level. We have Binding Circle, Teamwork, Damage and Power minus 2. So you remember Teamwork, it's a synergy but uh, gives you a plus 1 per uh, enemy level. And uh, the enemy level and your level, uh, the minimum of uh, them is taken into account when determining this bonus. Anyway, uh, we go to the grave is also interesting if you are fighting undead. In any case, I will just go and perk up. I will go with uh, leadership this time. And uh, the heroic tendency, which uh, will give us the in room. So let's go to our deck builder and add the in room to our deck. We can increase our agility. Death Speaker's Bone Ring. It has 4 charges, energy power, and we choose to play a Skeletal Warrior or a Skeletal Archer. Uh, yes. And uh, add this to my stars. This one will mutate to the lesser skeletons. So instead of having one with uh, 1322, we can have two with 812. But uh, it's a you have to play the card. Uh, that's how the ring works. Okay, let's start with Fear Your. Or better, lead astray. So in room is uh, quite interesting because we can uh, hire a fighter, a cleric, a thief or a ranger or drink ale and restore our action points. And uh, these are the 
guys we're gonna be hiring so let's hide another intruder and I want to hire a fighter I need to pay 3 action points and 25 farthings and he will fight for me for 10 rounds and uh, his ability is craft a random card from the mercenary discipline so if I right click I will get a mercenary card which I don't find useful at this moment ok so fire aura let's just attack and I will hire a ranger Just add to inventory. Masterwork quarter staff on draw, it replicates itself. And uh, since it's a weapon, if you have this equipped, you won't uh, just uh, draw one less card, you will draw two less cards. So make sure that you can benefit from having this card uh, equipped. You can still sell it. Stas. So turn undead, target undead enemy, deal for intense, destroy. And if they die, then we craft this card and also get uh, Strain 2, which will increase the next action we play by 2 action points. It's good against Undead, but uh, so far we didn't have any problem with Undead. Ghost World might be interesting for the early game, but let's first sell and sell. I can't sell that too because we suck at piercing. Commodities, we don't have any to sell or uh, something I want to buy. Hmm. Armors and accessories. Tabard of the Crimson Flame. We can't afford it. Consumables and tickets. So there are some pretty cool stuff, but we can't afford them, unfortunately. Maybe the magic lamp. Okay, so I don't think I will be buying anything, will save my farthings till I have more. One more to deck. Silver coating. Harpies are weak to silver. Now if I play Veil Bridge, one of these uh, two guys will die. Because I will summon two spirits and I can have only up to four allies. And uh, my hideout is protected, which means that uh, it won't uh, disappear by going over my summon limit. But if I use a card that has unsummon, of course, it will uh, affect uh, the hideout. Protect, protect it doesn't protect from your own cards, okay? It just protects uh, from exceeding your uh, summon limit. 
Okay, so let's uh, see what this guy can give us, and we have block. So I can go like block, death speakers, bone ring, and bring this guy. Ethereal Prison, we can play it here. Attack. So his ability is defensive stance. Let's use the hunter. Not very useful, but let's add some gate. Okay, and at this point actually, let's, uh, let's do the Veil Bridge. So I will sacrifice these two allies, the first allies that are not protected will be unsummoned to make space for the new summons. And you can also drag allies to the Spectre if you want to manually make a space for the summon limit like so. harder modes, that is, all uh, allies are truly unique, meaning that once they die, they are gone forever. Uh, their card has just uh, one use. But uh, in normal you will get some slack while you're still learning the ropes. Demon Sofer. So after we defeated uh, this boss, we can uh, do a rearrangement in our deck and uh, we can bring. So let's bring in a cleric, which uh, fetches cards from the exorcist discipline, like we do. So Belly Dancer can also exhaust or we get fatigue and allies get lifespan plus one so we can uh, extend their stay. Can only target uh, attempters so here. And uh, I will pick one of these guys. So we can use Pelitans. 
and get plus one in duration. And we have Grogle. Resisted the Bewitch, it's okay. Let's use this, we will probably need it. Bring a thief. We can't really deal sneak attack unless he brings us a concealment card in the next round. We don't have enough action points to use the Skeletal Warrior. Hmm. It's okay. Okay, so let's gain a level and then uh, rearrange our deck with our new findings. And I think I will go for a in-room uh, leadership build. Along with the Serial Prisons, which is uh, amazing. This case just a little astray. Command Demon. We can do deal 8 intense damage and control a demon with uh, 17 uh, power or less. It's very nice if you fight a demon. If not, you can always discard it. And darkness. Let's add this to my stars in case we. The tough demon. Let's bring a fighter. Come put this here. Let's see what does it do. Blessed. So it will uh, hurt more the the vampy. Okay, I will uh, empty my deck anyway, so let's uh, see what skills we got. 
Now, for example, soldier, if I right click it, it will go to my first ally. So if my first ally is the hideout, then the hideout will get unsound. You can uh, protect the allies you want to protect by moving them uh, in the far right of your uh, ally queue. So we have protection of evil and we have soldier. And uh, soldier will uh, give teamwork power and teamwork health to the next uh, summon you will bring. So the summon you, the ally you will unsummon needs to be active and uh, at the very least you will get a plus 7 power and plus 7 and plus 5 health so quite good even if the ally doesn't have any levels okay let's empty our deck and I will look for allies uh, we already have in room in play we will use the Veil Bridge and we can use this lacking of a better alternative I will look my racial cards my class cards get two demon offers sounds and spirit link The Ethereal Prison And uh, let's check our deck. So this one. Let's hire an adventurer. Pick a fighter. We can now unsummon one of the spirits and as you can see teamwork doesn't work if they are exhausted. Okay. We already said that but we didn't actually follow our advice. Bear will get the retribution. You will flank. Looks like you could use an extra blade. So, speaking of uh, smart ally management, if you can inflict vulnerable, then first inflict vulnerable and then attack. So another consideration when it comes to higher adventure is that uh, these guys cost you 25 farthings, so <laughs> keep an eye on your uh, farthings.
Undead uh, won't give you much farthings once defeated. Most uh, of the human enemies will. Unfortunately, our uh, hideout can't attack. It's pretty tough with all this uh, ethereal prism buffs. It good. Looks like we could use an extra blade. And you can also use healing actions to your allies, and uh, your allies will get this healing. Moonstone Bow, Split Astral, 4 to 9 Piercing, and 1 Intense. That's quite nice. Even if you don't use it, you can always sell it. Target enemy, Bewitch 2, Cripple 6, and if they die, you play a Spider Swarm. All, all this happen uh, automatically. You just equip this. And page cost, of course, in upkeep, so you will be paying 3 action points each time, each time it uh, triggers. anything but um, let's see if we have some morning perk like this one for example and I will save those to get uh, an upgraded headquarters at level 5 So now we have uh, five allies in play. You can uh, bring the allies you want to sacrifice in the front, or you can just do this. Flank, bleeding strike, so take the diffusion. Who's bleeding? Bring one of these guys. And uh, this time I will uh, unsummon uh, this one. Part 7, health uh, plus 5. So he's quite tough. This He's level 2 and half. Uh, worse health and power. And then my turn or attack here. So on, if you have uh, your ally active, it will heal some hit points uh, too. And that can be improved further with uh, perks. Mm, we 
don't have uh, any equipment. But uh, you could have. We can't use this. Uh, we don't have any weapons. We sold them. Okay. So quick draw can't help us much in this case. Trigger. Let's bring our uh, ghosts. Let's uh, bring one more fighter. Looks like a prison. Ethereal prison. Ethereal prison. If only we could also boost their health. Let's add this to our hand. He's immune to, to this effect. So he will uh, not. Uh, he used regenerate on the attack. Okay, so we have Ami, which is a demon. Amazing. So, I will add this uh, command demon card just in case we will draw it and uh, get to control Ami. It will be pretty fun. Let's 
So we ran out of funds with these hired helpers. But uh, we did a pretty good time. Sadly. Because of that. There goes Ami. And we are at stage 5. So, I will be leaving you here and I will be resuming uh, the video after a short break. I will see you soon.